first thing you have to realize, we're talking BJJ for the street, right? Which is actually BJJ for the street. That's the main concept here is we're taking Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and we're looking at it and modifying it to actually prioritize street self-defense. Now, that means also adding some other arts like JKD and Silat and Kali and Krav Maga and anything, Judo, whatever we can do to make the art better and more functional in a street situation. So we have to realize though that there are two basic types of self-defense situations when we talk about grappling. One is the dangerous to grapple scenario. Dangerous to grapple means that you're out there on the street, it's uh, not a closed environment, something happens, you end up on the ground, your goal is to get up and get out of there as soon as humanly possible. Whether you're on top or the bottom, you want to get up and escape. Okay? Now, imagine you're out on the street. Why do you want to do that? Because other people are going to jump in possibly. Maybe the guy's friends, people. I mean, where I grew up, if there was a fight, sometimes would people would go up, wouldn't know either one, but they'd go kick a guy in the head just for the fun of it. So you have to watch those other people coming in. So that is the dangerous to grapple situation and we're gonna to try to get up and get out of there. And that is the emphasis in the white belt curriculum is the dangerous to grapple scenario. Second scenario though is the safe to grapple scenario. That is where you may be out in the street situation, but for whatever reason, it is quote, safe to grapple. In other words, maybe there's a group around there that kind of keeps everybody else out and it's you and the other person. You know, maybe they, they picked on you, the guys make a little circle, it happens a lot, just watch YouTube. A lot of things happening like that these days. Also, if you're in your home or if you're in an office where it's an enclosed environment, you know it's just you and the other guy, maybe you feel it's safer for you to go to the grappling range. So you have to have a wide range of grappling techniques. It's not always about escaping. If you get somebody that's a very strong striker, right? They're like, ah, they're just so big and strong. And you realize that your best bet is the grappling range. You better be able to enter and take the person down. So in the white belt curriculum, we're emphasizing the dangerous to grapple scenario while laying the foundation for the safe to grapple. So we will be doing certain moves that are more in a safe to grapple scenario as well. So I'll make sure we understand the difference. But uh, that's basically the idea from white to blue. By the time you're a blue belt, you should be really good at standing up from any position of grappling and getting out of there. You should also have a good regular jujitsu base with striking and eye gouges and head butts, dealing with weapons so that you can work in that kind of environment if it's safe to grapple. So off we go to white belt strike one curriculum.